हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज 2.4 फॉर द प्रीवियस वन प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी देयर यू कैन आल्सो विजिट आवर वेबसाइट द वेबसाइट लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स सो हियर सम नंबर 1 1 find the reciprocal of each of the following so it's very easy to find out the reciprocal of the fraction okay so here the reciprocal is as here 3 is the denominator sorry numerator so it will be the denominator for the reciprocal and here 7 is the denominator so it will be the numerator so to find out the reciprocal of the of a fraction it will just change the numerator into denominator and denominator into numerator okay now next one number 2 it's 13 by 9 so the reciprocal is here 9 by 13 very easy and the last one here 8 so 8 means 8 by 1 so the reciprocal equal to 1 by 8 now next one some number 2 1 evaluate the following 14 divided by 5 by 6 so here 14 into 6 by 5 okay so whenever you convert the division sign into multiplication then the fraction after the sign remember that the fraction after not the before after the sign the change into reciprocal form so here 14 into 6 by 5 okay now multiply 14 with 6 it becomes 84 so 84 by 5 now change into mixed fraction So 84, 5 ones are 5. Here 3, 4, 5, 6 are 30. So 16 whole, 4 by 5. That is your answer. Next one, number 2. 5 divided by 3 whole, 4 by 7. So 5 divided by 7 through the 21 plus 4. It's 25 by 7. So 5 into reciprocal form, 7 by 25. So five cancel out this one. It's seven by five. Okay, that is your answer. You can also convert it into mixed fraction. Next one, three whole one by five divided by one whole two by three. So here fifteen plus one sixteen by five. Here division two and the three plus one sorry plus two five. So five by three. So sixteen by five into three by five. So that one equal to here forty eight. Forty eight by 25 okay convert into mixed fraction so 25 ones are 25 here it's 3 it's 1 so 1 whole 13 by 25 that is your answer now the fourth one 2 whole 5 by 8 divided by 1 by 1 by 6 so here 8 to the 16 plus 5 okay it's 21 by 8 here division sign and it's 7 by 6 So you have twenty-one by eight multiplication. So reciprocal form six by seven. Seven three is a twenty-one. Two three is a six. Two four is a eight. So nine by four. You can also convert this one into mixed fraction. Now next some number three. How long pieces each five hole one by six meter long can be cut from a cloth seventy-seven? Whole one by two meter long. Okay, so that means here the total length. Okay, total length of the cloth that is seventy seven whole one by two meter. Okay, so seventy seven into two one fifty four plus one one fifty five by two meter. That is the full length of the cloth. Okay, now the length of each piece. So here the length of each piece. That one equal to here five whole one by six. That means five six are thirty. So thirty one by six, thirty one by six meter. Now you have to find out how many pieces. So here number of pieces equal to just divide the full length by length of each piece. So that one equal to one five five by two into the reciprocal form six by thirty one. So 31 divide this one, it's 5. 2 divide is 3. So here 15. So 15 is the number of piece. That means that is your answer. 
so now next one some number 4 by what number should 4 whole 7 by 8 be multiplied to get 87 whole 3 by 4 so it's very easy you have to just divide 87 whole 3 by 4 by 4 whole 7 by 8 so here 87 multiply with 4 and that one equal to 348 then plus 3 351 so 351 by 4 divide by here 4 into 8 32 plus 7 that is 39 by 8 so write down 351 by 4 into reciprocal form 8 by 39 now 351 divide by 39 and that one equal to 9 okay 9 39 that one equal to 351 4 divided by 8 it's 2 so it's 18 okay so your answer is here 18 now next one some number 5 in some number 5 in a hostel mess each student gets one third liter of milk every day if the total consumption of milk so here the total consumption is 57 whole 2 by 3 liter how many students are there in the hostel so as here total amount of milk equal to 57 whole 2 by 3 that means 57 into 3 so 171 plus 2 it's 173 by 3 liters okay that is a total amount of milk here each student get one third one by three liter it's not one third it's one by three liter sorry it's one by three liter for each student so now you have to find out the total okay you have to find out the total amount uh, sorry the total number of student so here number of student that one equal to 173 by 3 divided by 1 by 3 okay so 173 by 3 into here 3 by 1 3 3 cancel out so 173 is the number of student okay now next one some number six the cost of five whole one by four kg apples that one equal to rupees three three six what is the rate of apples per kg so here five whole one means that means you are 21 by four kg apple cost is rupees three three six so one kg apple cost you have to just divide this one so 336 divided by 21 by 4 now in the next line just change the sign so 336 multiply we have the reciprocal form 4 by 21 so now 336 336 divided by 21 it's 16 so next one 16 into 4 that one equal to rupees 64 that means the price of per apple Okay, the, or the price of 1 kg apple, that one equal to 64. Okay, next, some number 7. The length of a rectangular plot of area. So, that means here the area of the plot or the write down the rectangular plot, that one equal to 68 whole 3 by 4 square meter. So, 68 into 4. It's 272 plus 3, 275 by 4 square meter. That is the area of the rectangular plot. Now here the length, length equal to 12 whole 1 by 2 meter. So 12 to the 24 plus 1, 25 by 2 meter. That is the length. Now you have to find out the breadth. So you know the formula. Breadth means area by length. So here area equal to 275 by 4 divided by the length 25 by 2 here the unit its meter so 275 by 4 into 2 by 25 now 275 by 25 that one equal to here 11 and here 4 2 so that means here 11 by 2 so 11 by 2 means 5.5 okay 5.5 meter that is your answer you can also convert it into mixed fraction no problem so now the next some number eight if the cost of 
फाइव होल वन बाई टू के जी और फाइव टू ज टेन इलेवन बाई टू के जी सो कॉस्ट ऑफ इलेवन बाई टू के जी शुगर दैट वन इक्वल टू रुपीज टू जीरो सिक्स होल वन बाई फोर सो टू जीरो सिक्स इंटू फोर एट टू फोर प्लस वन एट टू फाइव बाई फोर दैट इज कॉस्ट ऑफ इलेवन बाई टू के जी ऑफ शुगर Now cost of one kg of sugar that one equal to eight to five by four divided by eleven by two. So that means you can write down here eight to five by four into two by eleven. Now next thing you have to find out also eight whole one by four kg sugar price. So as here eight whole so four is thirty two so it's thirty three by four kg. So price of 33 by 4 kg of sugar, that one equal to 8 to 5 by 4 into 2 by 11 into 33 by 4. It's rupees. So 2 to the 4 here 11 3. Okay. So that means here 8 to 5, 8 to 5 into 3. So it's 2 4 7 5 divided by 8. Okay. So write down here two four seven five eight three is a twenty four then seven here zero as seven and five uh, so now seventy five so seventy five eight so eight nine is a seventy two so yeah three so three zero nine whole three by eight rupees okay three zero nine whole three by eight rupees that is your answer. now the last one sum number 9 so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel so here renu completed 2 by 3 part of her homework in 2 hours how much part of her homework had she completed in 1 by 4 hours so write down here in 2 hours in 2 hours renu completed Here, two by three part of homework. Okay, write down in this way. In two hours, Renu completed two by three part of her homework. So in one hour, Renu completed two by three divided by two part. So that means here two by three into one by two part. Now the last one. In one whole one by four, that means five by four hours. So in five by four hours, Renu completed two by three into half into five by four. Two two is a cancel out. Five by twelve part. Okay. So five by twelve part. That is your final answer.